We were delighted to organise a, a meeting of uh, entrepreneurs uh, from Liverpool, private service businesses, trading businesses, people involved in property, the law, with a view to um, try to find out whether we had a consensus on Brexit. Of course, we wouldn't have a consensus, everybody has their own view. But we thought today we'd try and find out with the benefit of Jim Hancock, who is a fantastic political overview of all of this. The argument for coming out is that we are a, the fifth largest economy in the world, that we're perfectly able to stand on our own two feet, uh, negotiate uh, deals all around the world, but we won't have the restrictions on who we can negotiate with, we won't have all the payments that we have to make, and so that, that's the argument on that side. Obviously, the argument for staying in is that uh, we are members of a single market, one of the largest groups in the world. We can then sell throughout this huge market without any further restriction. One thing I have learned is that the out campaign will be about uh, immigration and fear of immigration and the in campaign, staying in campaign, will be about the economy. Everything I've heard today and everything I've read in the press and on the news has really gone to show that um, the arguments are really finely balanced either way. Some of the advantages of being in Europe is they have much higher standards of education and skills, particularly with apprenticeships. And so if you leave school in Europe, Germany, Scandinavia in particular, you would go into an apprenticeship if you don't go to university. I've learnt some information that I didn't know beforehand, uh, before we went in, but I'm still just as confused as I was uh, at the beginning of the day. My initial reaction when the debate first arose was to stay in because you stay with what you know. Um, you like certainty, people like certainty, there's a lot of EU legislation that we're familiar with. Some of the things today backed up what I thought, I'm for in, reasons being the European Union was set up to stop war, keep us all together, to make us all work more as a collective. I don't want us to go backwards. It seems to come down to where's your heart and where's your head. For a lot of people, the heart seems to be out. The head's a much tougher one for most people because I think that most people see there are very clear advantages to staying in financially and business-wise. We've had the capital culture that Liverpool's benefited a lot from, as well as a lot of um, investment into the city, which we've massively benefited from. So the thought of losing that is a little bit of a worry. I think that it's better that we stay in the European Union because the European Union actually does a huge amount for workers' rights, for small businesses, and I think we'd lose that. And also, leaving the European Union would introduce a huge amount of uh, risk um, which businesses don't want. In terms of moving away, I can understand why people want to do that as well. We are the fifth largest economy in the world. We are the fastest growing economy in, in Western Europe. So why do we need someone to actually second guess us? The arguments against Europe for business are less clear cut because Surprise, surprise, there's no evidence either way. There's also the issue of immigration, and I'm certainly on the fence in respect of that. I understand both sides. I understand that we need people to come into our city and our, and our country to benefit the economy, um, but I also understand the concerns that that brings too. We started to pool our sovereignty. We started to cease, in a sense, to be an independent country when we joined the North Atlantic Treaty Organization in 1949, where we, are, we pool our resources on defense. So there's nothing new in cooperating, you know. So, so one person's lack of independence is another person's cooperation. It's been a massive benefit to Liverpool. So I'm for in, because I think it's too much risk to come out. I'm probably an in man. I think I always will be an in man. So, so I'm unchanged. Um, but it was good to hear from a couple of people uh, views which, which were thoroughly well argued uh, as to reasons why, why we should perhaps consider not being in. When I hear the arguments, I hear strong opinion for both. I'm still on the fence. If you go with your heart, it's out. If you go with your head, probably it's in. And what's going to happen on 23rd June? Anyone's guess.